The next area we'll run through is the Tableau settings area. The Tableau area allows us to configure how our dashboards are used on the front end by our end users. We have the ability to create filters, parameters, tutorials, and even change out the loading screens of our dashboards. Starting in the filters area, these filters show up on the right hand side of the dashboards. You may have seen this in the first video that we did in our series. We simply provide a display name for the filter, the field name in the workbook, choose the filter type that we want, single select, multi-select, date, date range, relative date, or Boolean. And then we can choose whether or not to toggle this filter on or off of a global filter setting that we call sticky filters. The sticky filters, as you may recall, follow your users around as they wander from page to page in your site. You can also toggle on or off the all option, and you can choose whether to retrieve the filter options directly from the data of the workbook, or whether to manually specify those options. One important call out here is if you have a large workbook, the getting the filter options from data can be rather slow. And so we encourage you to use static options if that is possible. Parameters work much the same way. To create a new parameter, simply click new parameter, give us the display name of the parameter, the parameter name in the workbook, and then choose what type of parameter you want the users to have. Obviously, parameters are single value in Tableau, and so they are in the portal environment as well. But you do have the ability to choose between a single select dropdown parameter, a date parameter, or a freeform text entry for the end users. Similar to filters, you can toggle on or off the ability for this parameter to follow your users around. You can toggle on the ability to get this parameter's options from a list that you've set up in Tableau desktop previously or you can even get the options for this parameter from a field in the data. So if I have a field like sales period that updates accordingly in the data source every week, every month, every year, I don't have to log into Tableau Desktop and publish up a new workbook to change out the values that are presented to my end users. I can simply get those from the data itself and then pass those along in the parameter options. Of course, you can specify manually the parameter options here as well, which is going to be the fastest method if that's not overly cumbersome to do. Tutorials present our users with a modal pop-up that shows up in front of the dashboard when the dashboard is loaded. These allow your portal administrators to easily present your users with some information on how to use the dashboard, how to interact with it, which filters to use, etc., to get out the data that they'd like. To create a tutorial, simply click New Tutorial, type in a title, and then type in some content for your tutorial. Similar to the Pages area, you have a freeform text entry here that can include formatted text, as well as images or even videos. Finally, at the bottom, you can choose a number of views for your end users to see before it hides itself. The users are always able to show this tutorial again by simply clicking the hat icon in the actions area. Loading screens allow your users to be presented with information while your dashboards are loading. This gives them something to look at while the dashboard is loading besides the spinny wheel that comes out of the box with Tableau Server. This can be product imagery or even a fancy ad animated GIF like what we have in the default version of the portal product. To create a new loading screen, simply click new loading screen title your loading screen, and once again you're able to insert freeform text entry similar to the, to the tutorial or the pages area. You can insert images, videos, or those animated GIFs that all of our end users like to view. Once you hit create, you can attach this to your dashboards in the content and dashboards area. As always, to view your changes, simply click preview the website to pull up those changes and see those live. If you have any questions with the functionality that you've seen us display in the portal, 
feel free to reach out and ask us questions. Also, make sure to stay tuned for our next videos, which dive into the back end of the portal even more. <laughs>